Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise, I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm here to bring you a wig review. This is Tress Allure Picture Perfect in the color 8R. This long synthetic wig has a full mono top and a lace front and is a really, really pretty long style. If you'd like to know more about Picture Perfect, one of Tress Allure's best sellers of all time, then stick around. Wow, this synthetic wig is so beautiful. Now, Tress Allure told me that this is one of their best sellers, so I am really pleased to be able to show this to all of you. Just look at these layers. They claim that there's some special hand knotting that's been done on this piece to allow it to be more lightweight than other wigs of similar length. And I will tell you, it does feel very light on my head. This doesn't feel heavy or like a lot of hair at all. Let's take a look at this one from all sides. It's really stunning. This is a fun, fun piece. Right off the bat though, I will caution you, this one does tangle some. Really common with synthetic wigs, they just tend to tangle a lot more than human hair, so carry a wide tooth comb around with you to make sure that you can keep those tangles at bay. Just run it through. I would run a wide tooth comb through this every hour to really help protect those fibers and prevent them from knotting up to the point where you can't comb through them at some point. The overall length of this piece is 16 inches. You have between six and 16 inches with the layering that they have on this and it really doesn't have any type of a bang. There are some softer layers at the fringe that helps it to lay really flattering and almost in a feathered way around the face, but if you want to cut a bang in this one, you sure could. Just note that, you know, when you pull wigs like this forward, there's typically some sort of a cowlick somewhere where the wig wants to naturally part. You'll need to deal with that cowlick if you want to cut a fringe into this one or a full bang. Since this is regular synthetic, you're not going to take really meaningful heat to it, but you can always take steam to it if you'd like to, you know, make that bang lay really nice. Or if you find that it hangs in your face a lot, which this one kind of does, and I've really had to work hard to find where it wants to naturally part so that I could do this review. And so if you decide you want to repart it because it does have a full mono top and you find that it hangs in your face, just take a really cheap clothing steamer and kind of steam up the front here. What I do is I just sort of clip it up where I want it to have lift, and then I hit it with steam, let it cool, and then when you drop it, you should have the lift there. You might have to do it a couple of times, but that's the best way to get lift into a regular synthetic wig. Let's take a look at this cap so that you can see, if you're new to wig wearing, I just mentioned the full mono top, so you can see what I mean by that. Right there, that's all hand tied, it's all parting space. So you can make this wig part wherever you want and you can change it if you'd like to change up your style. We've got a nice lace front, we'll take a look at how good that is when I put it back on. It goes all the way to the ear tabs, it's extended. We've got soft velvet ear tabs, we have an extended nape, and we have Velcro adjusters. The rest of this is open wefted. And you know, for a wig this length, it really doesn't feel heavy on my head. It's about five, 0.3 ounces but I've seen wigs of this length over six ounces before so definitely heavier than a shorter wig but not as heavy as some longer wigs and you can see when I just throw it back on I just want to make sure that I gently comb through and when I hit a tangle which I just did I want to kind of get that tangle out at the end and then go back up through those fibers that's going to protect these fibers it's going to help from the kind of tearing that can happen when you just rake through the wig and keep the wig from shedding because that can just pull those fibers right out of the cap. And there you go. Just comb it through, put it on. Let's take a look at this lace front. It is excellent. Look at that lace front, you guys. Let me do that again. I'll pick it up. I mean, gosh. And you can see up into the part. That's incredibly realistic looking for a color this dark. A lot of times, 
when you have a super dark brunette that doesn't have any light highlights that can be brought to that front hairline, you get you really see the knots, but they have done a fantastic job of keeping those knots tiny and preventing it from looking terribly knotty. I really think I could wear this wig pulled off my head in like a, you know, a top knot or a clip or something and it would be so realistic looking. Nobody is going to know that this is a wig. They did a really stellar job on that hairline. I would consider this a moderate density wig. It definitely isn't light density, but it's not super heavy as well. And there is no permatease. So we've got a good amount of hair, but not an overwhelming amount of hair. There's no poof. You do get just a tiny, tiny bit of volume right where they've hand tied those fibers into that monofilament, but just with the ever so slight and no poof. So if you like big hair, if you want to kind of, if you like to get in there with your wigs and kind of get in there and make them big and voluminous, you're not going to do that with this one it doesn't have the permatease to hold it so even if you were able to get that sort of messy bedhead look it's going to fall over time with the heat of your head and gravity because the permatease isn't there to hold it up just a word of caution for my big hair sisters i know some of you really like to get your hair hi what is it higher the higher the hair the closer to god <laughs> i know i've got some sisters who really like that I find Tressler wigs to fit very true to average. I have a 22 inch circumference. This fits me great. I can cinch it in just a little bit, which tells me that there's definitely room to grow up to 22 and a half. I do get a little tiny bit of extra cap up here, but not much. And I do have pretty petite over the top of my head measurements. So I would call this really true to average and not definite, not um, necessarily big head friendly because of how average it really feels on, on my head. And you can see as I play with it, it does get a little messy. That is just the way that long synthetic wigs operate. This doesn't tangle any more than some other long synthetics I've had. As a matter of fact, it tangles maybe slightly less than some of the other ones that I've had. So definitely just keep that wide tooth comb with you and you'll be golden. Let's talk about color. I was so excited to get this piece so I could show this 8R color. I know that there aren't a ton of brunette wig reviews out there, so I'm trying to get more wigs in these brunette colors so that I can show them. 8R is a gorgeous, rich, medium brown. It's a chocolate. It is a beautiful blend. It's not a flat color at all. It's a blend of multiple tones of brunette. There's a, the slightest hint of auburn in here. Very slight. I mean, look at that. You can just see how dynamic this color is as I'm moving it. If you love chocolate browns, this is kind of a deep medium then this could be a great color for you. The color is consistent all the way up to the top. And you can just see that blending. Beautiful medium chocolate brown, the slightest hint of auburn. It's not a heavy red at all. Beautiful. Almost kind of neutral to warm. Let's get outside so you can see this color outside. Thanks for watching and let me know if you have any questions about picture, picture, perfect. Such a cute long style. Here we are. We are outside. definitely moves naturally. One thing I didn't mention, the part probably needs a little plucking or something. It just really doesn't want to stay where I part it. So that's going to need a little work. But other than that, it's great. Thanks for watching.